Hello, I wanted to do a little short on about how a gas mask protects you from radiation and what it does and doesn't do. So I thought a good way of demonstrating this would be to sh first show off sort of alpha and beta particles, fairly weak ones, such as carbon-14, um, and how sort of they are basically blocked by lots of things, such as the filter. So obviously the main thing that a gas mask is going to do if you're um, in a radioactive environment is protect you from inhaling radioactive particles. So, for example, like something like this carbon-14, it's very um, non-penetrating radiation, it's beta radiation. So if I put the Geiger counter directly on top of it, uh, you can hear it's not ticking that much faster. However, if I open the shutter on the back, so it's exposed to all the radiation, you can hear it's ticking quite fast. So obviously, all of that activity would be going into your lungs um, with the carbon-14. For example, just as an example, if it, um, you know, if it was on dust fallout and you inhaled it. However, if it's in a, you know, if it gets stuck in the filter on the gas mask, then um, all that activity goes from being like that, you know, to being an external threat and it's not, you know, cooking your lungs alive. So there's that. But obviously what a gas mask does not protect you from um, is obviously gamma rays and very strong beta rays going through. So if I close the shutter again, here we have some AM241, uh, which gives off both lots of alpha radiation, but also um, a bit of gamma uh, radiation, as you can hear. So with this, for example, if I was to put the Geiger counter inside the mask, this would be probably easier to demonstrate with radium, and then put that outside, it would have been easier to demonstrate this with radium. You can probably still hear that ticking away. Um, yeah, again, I should have got a stronger source for this. One, uh, one second and I will demonstrate this using a better radioactive source for this little example. And here's a better example, a radium 226 aircraft dial. And as you can hear, the gamma rays from that are easily ticking through the mask because um, regardless of if it's polycarbonate or glass or whatever, and the rubber, the face piece on the mask isn't going to protect you from gamma rays. So it's certainly not a replacement for being in a fallout shelter. But what the mask does do is obviously prevent any radioactive material in the air going into your lungs where it can do the maximum amount of damage. Um, you're now, you know, just limited to what's externally hitting you.